Well, hello, this is Josh Herbal, a.k.a. Smokey, and I'd like to read you a most groveling, heartfelt, and over-the-top apology letter from Johnny Ryan and Basement Dweller. Dear esteemed citizens of the World Wide Web, intellectual titans, and sufferers of trollish buffoonery, today we come before you with all the solemnity and gravitas our greasy, Cheeto-stained souls can muster. Yes, dear denizens of digital discourse, it has become apparent, even to our most stubborn selves, that we, Johnny Ryan and Basement Dweller, are not the towering intellectual giants we once fancied ourselves to be. In fact, our former contributions to conversations were about as helpful as an inflatable dartboard. Allow us to fall on our proverbial swords made of cheap plastic and questionable logic, and humbly request your forgiveness. We would kneel before you in shame, but quite frankly, we're not sure our knees can handle the strain after years of sitting in the ergonomic disaster that is a bargain basement office chair. Instead, we shall offer you the only thing we have left our over-the-top, massively self-deprecating apology. First, regarding our masterful use of logic. Ah, yes, logic. That elusive creature, like the Loch Ness Monster, we've heard tales of its existence, but we have yet to actually encounter it. For years, we have fancied ourselves philosophers, wielding arguments as if they were Excalibur itself. Alas, in reality, we were more like toddlers with pool noodles, flailing about in a sad attempt to appear wise. Our logical fallacies, oh, how they flowed. Straw men, ad hominems, non sequiturs, red herring, all paraded about with the confidence of a penguin attempt in flight. And like that poor penguin, we too inevitably crashed. And so, dear YouTubers, we acknowledge that our debate tactics were not the thunderous battle cries of intellectual warriors, but rather the confused honking of G's lost in a parking lot. It was all sound and fury, signifying nothing, and for that we are sorry, profoundly. As sorry as one can be while still maintaining the ability to delude oneself into typing such things in the first place on our relentless pestering and general online tomfoolery. Oh, where do we even begin? Our behavior has been the digital equivalent of a mosquito trapped in a bedroom at 3 a.m., buzzing incessantly in your ear, determined to ruin your night. We acknowledge that our presence in various forums, comment sections, and social media platforms has been nothing short of a public nuisance akin to a pub patron, who, after a few too many pints, won't stop telling everyone how they could have been a football star if only their coach hadn't been so blind. And so we extend our sincerest apologies for being the verbal diarrhea of the internet, offering opinions that nobody asked for and persisting long after we should have taken the hit. We recognize that our attempts to sound smart were as irritating as a sock slipping down inside your shoe small but constant, an unshakable annoyance that gnawed at your patience. Oh, the insults. We would like to apologize for the sheer lack of creativity in our jibes. Comparing people to rocks, lumps of coal, or stale bread. Really? As we reflect on it now, even rocks, coal, and bread have some utility in the world. You can at least build with rocks, heat your home with coal, and in a pinch, feed ducks with stale bread. But us. We offered nothing so practical. Instead, we hurled insults like confetti, but without the joy or color, just a bland, dry rain of mediocrity. We now understand that our insults lacked the elegance and wit of a true American and Canadian roast, and were more akin to a six-year-old on a sugar high trying to outwit an adult. You're a poo-poo head. It's essentially the level of sophistication we were working with. And for that, dear YouTubers, we apologize. You deserve better, nay, the world deserved better. We must confess lying is an art, and we have been, to put it mildly, the finger painters of deception. Our lies were so transparent that even a goldfish could see through them, and yet we boasted about them as if we had somehow reinvented truth itself. Whether it was claiming expertise in topics we had barely Googled five minutes prior or insisting on having insider knowledge that was nothing more than hearsay from an obscure corner of the Internet, we were, as they say, full of it. We lied with the confidence of someone wearing a fake Rolex in a room full of jewelers, hoping no one would notice, and shockingly everyone did. And so, dear YouTubers, we apologize for polluting the airwaves with falsehoods, half-truths, and outright nonsense. 
We were, as it turns out, about as trustworthy as a politician with a fake tan. And finally, on our rampant egos. Oh, how we swelled with self-importance, imagining ourselves as grand intellectual titans, standing tall among mere mortals. In reality, our egos were like inflatable castles at a children's birthday party, big, bouncy, and full of hot air, but easily deflated at the slightest prick of reality. We fancied ourselves the arbiters of all knowledge, doling out wisdom like confetti at a wedding, except that our wisdom was more like leftover cake crumbs, messy, unwanted, and scattered everywhere with no real purpose. In retrospect, our sense of superiority was as misplaced as a bow tie on a sloth. We now realize that being king of one's own basement is not quite the intellectual achievement we thought it was. But in closing, and with all the sincerity our shriveled hearts can muster. We hope that you, dear internet, can find it in your capacious, forgiving hearts to allow us this one final request for redemption. A vow to retreat temporarily, at least from our relentless trolling, and take up pursuits that are more fitting for our skill set, perhaps collecting stamps, knitting scarves, or finally learning how to use a thesaurus properly. Until such time as we can rejoin the civilized world of discourse, we shall remain in our basements, contemplating the errors of our ways, occasionally emerging to see the sun, or at least order more pizza. We are, after all, trolls with standards, albeit very, very low ones, in feigned humility and exaggerated remorse. Johnny Ryan in Basement Dweller.